Hey, welcome back to Neckbeardia. Today we're taking a trip to TG for a thread where things get a bit weird, a bit mamey, and a bit heretical. Someone at GW has had a stroke and has given you, yes you random 4chan user, complete control over the production of the Warhammer 40k anime. Yes, you have to make the anime. If you don't, you'll be banned from buying any Games Workshop merch. What do you do? A slice of life comedy on a hive world where everything is shit. Just hire that guy who did the cool fan animation and says that this is CGI anime. I don't give a fuck. I barely buy anything from Games Workshop and I could still do it and feel like a rebel. So win-win. I'm not making the anime. This guy must be fun at parties. Hentai is an anime, technically. Every season is a different faction. Season 1, Gene Steeler Colts. Season 2, Dark Eldar. Season 3, Sisters of Battle. That one I would watch. By that point, I'll leave the show and pass it off to someone else. Gaunt's Ghost in the style of the Saga of Tanya the Evil. Manga, anime has goofy faces. <laughs> Inquisitorial Retinue investigates Upper Spire Chaos Pleasure Cult and has to dive into the local politics and power games with an ending episode where the squad of nameless space marines purge the entire hive spire with the information the retinue finds. See, this don't sound too bad. There's not a lot of, like, investigation, you know, sci-fi 40k mangas or animes out there and it could be along the veins of like the Nightside series kind of like in that vein I think it'd be a pretty good idea actually I don't mind this obviously I do anime James Bond featuring Inquisitor Eisenhorn I'm sorry do people not want this is a Kai harem shit featuring Shota Abaddon as the main character that's just that ain't right <laughs> that just ain't right Following the adventure of a hive orphan finishing a gene stealer after it killed his bullies. Being recruited into the Scola Progenium and create a harem of Novate. Ending being hired in the service of an Ara Ara Inquisitor. <laughs> along with his childhood friend and some harem members. And to top it all off, it's actually Sophias Kane the entire time. It would fit right in. We all know Injaseer Chen is best girl. You know, there's a big, like, clientele for female engineers is a interesting thing. I'm not sure where that came from. A bunch of mechanophiles. You wouldn't fuck your toaster, would you? Wait, what if, like, a dreadnought, right? But there's a Sisters of Battle inside. Would you dare fall in love with an Ara Ara dreadnought? Would you allow her flamers to warm your heart and your soul? Think about it. Think about it. Something guard heavy with lots of battles. <laughs> it goes without saying that any 40k anime is going to include genetically altered set abhumans with cute animal ears and tails that are lower class servants to genetically superior humans. If I'm watching a 40k anime and there aren't any fucking cat girls, I will write a strongly worded letter to the production company. I will do it. Just imagine it. You got your Imperial Guard cat girls and those short stack snipers. It's a, it's a dreamland we'll never be able to see. The most 80s manly anime about the Death Watch. Hell yeah! <laughs> it will make Otoko Juku look like Azumanga. It will make Kenshiro look like Lucky Star. It will make Jojo look like Sailor Moon. Have it animated by Queen Bee. And we're in. Make it a hentai where Saneshi cults are fucking imperial women. I mean, technically they'd be fucking everybody, including the riders, but, you know, potato cock and ball torture. This is in reference to the uh, Eldar ears gif. Human semen draped to those ears, Eldar men cannot compete. Try and team up with production IG and make a Kane adaptation. Kane would make an awesome anime adaptation. You could call it like a... 40k loop into third, you know what I mean? Cute girls do cute stuff. War game edition. 
The budget is funneled to lovingly animate only a few scenes of each episode, namely the animated battle scenes imagined by the players during tabletop war games and RPG, but also in very close shots of how the girls handle the miniatures during assembly, in painting or toying with dice and brushes. The main character is a newbie who plays orcs gifted to her by the owner of the local game store. She got in the hobby because she got a crush on Duncan while watching his videos. <laughs> the ED is just her look at the videos with calm music going on. Another character is a fake grog who whines constantly about balance and the quality of new releases only to end up using the most OP builds and buying into the army she whined about in the precedent episode. So like every 40k player ever, gotcha, true to form. The owner of their friendly local game store is an actual orc, but nobody minds it or points it out because he uses glasses. He plays Sisters of Battles now. <laughs> Wah, Kadoki-chan. Wah to your heart's content. Just dead ass like a slugger boy or a flash kit where <laughs> wearing like normal ass human clothes and a pair of like tiny spherical glasses. Ooh, I don't mind this at all. Best girl uses blood angels. Yeah, and she always steals the dice, steals the ruler, steals the measuring tape, steals terrain. Bitch just steals everything, including your heart. The twin characters play Tyranids and Gene Stealer Cults. So that's just kind of wholesome, isn't it? I think it's pretty wholesome. The actual veteran of the group is a mother figure that plays Eldar since Rogue Trader and is an old friend of the owner. The other characters joke about her being like her far seer general to the point one of the episodes is centered around the group trying to prove she is an Eldar because due to an unlikely series of events. She seemed capable of using psychic powers and reading the future to their perspective. The group fails miserably and in an embarrassing way to prove in secret that she's an Eldar which ends up showing them her ears. The ears were fake. She is an Eldar. Then the pro tag wakes up and realizes the scene where she removed the fake gears was just in her dream. An alpha legionnaire watches Duncan in the ED of that episode. What? <laughs> An alpha legionnaire watched Duncan in the ending of that episode instead of her. <laughs> and it's actually Alfarious. Who's to know? Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. <laughs> so either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. <laughs> And, um, like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking, so, once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! <laughs> but anyway, let's continue on with the video. Run it into the ground worse than Ruin Johnson did the Star Wars. Being banned from buying GW's garbage has absolutely no effect on me. There's been some budget cuts and we need it by the summer. <laughs> Etchy comedy about a squad of howling banshees. You're welcome. Hmm. I'd rather be banned than give the weebs who also happens to like 40k the satisfaction of a Warhammer anime. How about a laid-back Hamtaro-esque comedy about a brand of experimental animals that live in a homunculi lab? I'll be down with that. It's about a machine spirit in a Lehman Russ. Think girls in Panzer, but there's no girls, and there's also no, <laughs> and also there are no Panzers. Just gonna bring us on back here to. The female dreadnought theory. Come on. I know you're still thinking about it. Don't you lie to me. It's been there in your brain the entire time. Rogue Trader Adventure, where bog standard Rogue Trader meets loads of much more inspired Rogue Trader characters, and they all come together with the power of friendship to beat the big bad in the final episode. It's just Sailor Moon. <laughs> it's just a more violent Sailor Moon right here. 24 episodes of every named character and shit hammer violently asphyxiating on their own fecal matter or equivalent, giving each one a 5 second death scene. At the end, the entire setting disappears forever and GW goes out of business. Such imagination, such poison grace. 
BDSM hentai, we're off to a good fucking start here, boys. About a captured space marine in Kimura fighting his way up the ranks in the gladiator pits and being whored out to Deldar Gigathots, who get wet watching him beat a defanged jeans to the death with his bare hands or whatever. Eventually, he fucks a pair of twins, one male, one female, so hard they get mind broken and start smuggling him and the other slaves' weapons as he starts a slave revolt. With support from the twins' cabal, the slaves capture a gate and escape into real space, becoming a somewhat less degenerate than his typical pirate band. Eventually, they capture an astropath, and finally having a way to contact home, the space marine sabotages the ship's life support, killing everyone except for himself and the astropath, and contacts his chapter for a pickup. That's some vampire tier long game shit right there, and I don't mind it. Except for the mind breaking fucking that could that could be toned down slightly a little bit tau mecha harem but the tau look like this and after enlarging this photo um i'm feeling slightly heretical the space thighs they're they're getting me chapter master they're getting me but with giant hooba hoobas right <laughs> hooba hoobas I believe this picture is trying to correlate between suppressors and then the uh, oh, strike witches, I think it is. Yeah, it's, it's an okay idea. Sorority's team on an agricultural world. Five sisters steerate, separate from the original squads. They fight slanesh cultists and demonets across a tropical island. Each sister is a different type. Seraphim, Repentia, Retributor, Celestian, and a Battle Sister. Eh, yeah, I could see that. That could be good. Would be something like Seinfeld, but with an excess of sororitas and their heaving, sweater-clad chesticles. Would go out of my way to retcon away like 90% of all Inquisitor and Commissar characters ever made. I make it as much not in anime as I can get away with. No Japano style, no big eyes and small mouths, no fucking chibi nonsense, no nosebleed when horny, no nonsensical over sexualization of uniforms or anything really. Basically, I would try to make it as little anime as possible. With that out of the way, it would still be a drawn series of episodes, so I would also try to make it not too cartoony, but let's not forget the 40k universe is a big satire after all, so. I would go for the bright colored style of 2nd edition Warhammer 40k, where orcs are some kind of social comment about the behavior of football hooligans, all sceneries in the background have goblin green grass, <laughs> and where the different races actually interact and talk to each other sometimes so that there can be plots that are not pure killing each other. Of course, the orc free Buddhas who sell out to the humans who pay them as mercenaries will be a problem in the temporary alliance with some Eldar to protect the world from chaos will turn out to be some kind of ripoff, but at least the different races talk long enough to each other to make some story before everything degenerates to all out war. That's one of the biggest things I have with 40k, it's like this weird like, you guys can't talk to each other. Like, come on man, like I said, it's such a... 40k is such a one-sided narrative, you know, orcs don't talk to anyone but orcs, Eldar don't talk to, you know, it's, just, it's such a weird rule to have for a game lore, it's just, just odd. I like to get one of my dark hair as game. Etchy high school comedy set in a modern day earth, except each faction size sub-faction represented by a girl who displays a lot of their faction's fo foibles? Foibles. Fo what? Is that actually a word? Named 40k characters appear as teachers or shop owners or other cameos, like Gullyman being the homeroom teacher. Yes, this is the best way. Well, a black comedy kind of laid back, of course. Still, the Dark Eldar do keep a few creatures that they don't necessarily mistreat. There's room for playing with the concept there if you stretch it a bit. Or a lot. I'm imagining a small band of lab animals, all modified to varying degrees, Natch, whose homunculi owner is too eccentric to properly keep track of them. They go on light-hearted adventures exploring their surroundings, and every so often the audience gets a glimpse of some kind of horrifying franken franesque shenanigans going on in the background. Even if one of them dies, the homunculus just zaps it back to life. You could also go in a more Happy Tree Friends direction, of course, but I think it's funny if the main characters never show distress and always act as if they're in a proper children's show. 
kind of like a, a like a black comedy irony you know where everything is super bloody and horrifying but they're just doing their best for the kids <laughs> it's like a bad divorce <laughs> i would do exactly this literally every episode is a non-stop explosions and lasers imperial guard badassery and devastation of orc and chaos battle lines periodically we shift to generals and commanders discussing movements and tactics also periodic speeches from a from macarius macarius and other major imperial officers last two episodes are about the soldiers fear of crusading into space outside of the galaxy and macarius's overwhelming depression at his unstoppable crusade being defeated by genuine human weakness and then the piece de la resistance a slice of cut <laughs> a slice of life comedy starring gender bent primarchs as lollies and uh of all the things in this thread, there is nothing more cursed than Genderbit Primarchs as lolis. Imagine the oo-woos in the chans and sans that would block out the fucking sun. Anywho, that's the end of this fucking thread. <laughs> if you like stuff like this, be sure to like and subscribe to Neckbeardia. Click the bell icon and comment down below on what you think and anything else you may want to say to this <laughs> garbage fire if you like original stories written through the week be sure to stop by garbeardia where i hang out subscribe hit the bell and have a listen to the veil rider series and the emily braun series also be sure to stop by the uh neckbeardia mini page soon i'll be reviewing some giants he's making up and get them all painted up and have a nice little video about that also, sorry about the echo. I moved from my old place to a I'm my in the house to a, to, a, to another place in the house. It's a bit echoey. Gotta get some some sound stuff put up, but it should be better. Anywho, until I see you next time on this side of the veil. This has been Guard Bro, and this is Neckbeardia.